Well, good morning, YouTube. Got me some two by sixes. I'm gonna fix those two places up there. And a couple cans of foam. And I'm gonna try to foam all these gaps here. Hopefully that'll uh, stick the metal down. At least that's my fond hope. And uh, I can kind of get this finished. Looks like this wall looks pretty good here where I painted it. And I also got that one piece over there I'll put on it. Day's kind of a short day. So I'm going to try to make a little better video. I'm going to uh, speed up the, the fast forward and put a little music in it and not so much of me talking. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do and then we'll have a video of me actually doing it. High speed. So, like and subscribe and let me get to it. First piece is 22 and 5 eighths long. So I kind of pounded them in. Now I'm going to try a little foam on it, and uh, I'm just going to see if the foam will hold it. I'll let it dry, and then I'll try to screw it. Well, this is some stuff I got from uh, Ace Hardware called Big Gap Filler. It's supposed to fill up to three-inch holes. So we're going to give it a shot. So it's got a little kind of a trigger thing here. have to hold it upside down so I'm gonna take a putty knife up there and just uh, squeeze in a little bit see if I can fill them cracks and this is just a one inch putty knife I just want to use it for my
Take you up here and give you a bit of a bird's eye view. I don't really know where this camera is even pointing. Hopefully you can see what it's doing. But uh, I think this will hold it. We'll find out. Well, there's my final result. Sealed all the way to the corner. Looks pretty good. Two cans took me about to the middle of the shop. Probably take another two cans to do that, but that's a deal for another day. And that corner back there, I'm gonna have to take that big piece of plywood down and fix it better. They had a two before up there. I don't know if you saw a while ago, I just pulled it down. But uh, that corner needs some work. And uh, of course I'll have to crawl up on the roof and fix a little more. But that's it was the main thing there. It's where all the water was coming from, most of it was this place right there where I got the, the double boards. It was sagging, but it's up flat now, so that should have cured my big leak, and it was just dripping out of these parts. Uh, anyway, that's kind of a done as far as I've got for now. And uh, we'll move on to the next one. Well, here's the next one. Trying to find the VIN number on this old Ford. I did some digging on the internet. And a uh, guy said that uh, he was showing me or had a picture of where the VIN number was. And it was right above this uh, spring stop. So... At least I know exactly where it's at. So it should be right in this area somewhere. And I got a drill and a sander. I'm going to sand this real good and see if I can find it. Well, that area right there is where the where it's supposed to be. This camera's going to set up here. Now I'll try to lay it on its side. Hopefully, you might be able to see what's going on. See anything that looks like a number yet? It's not really working. I don't really see anything. It 
use the frame. I'll try to get another. I don't see nothing yet. I'll try to get a, a flat flapper and see if that'll get. Well, it. I pulled a valve cover on this, looking for marks. We've got a circular thing here, it says 13578, which is probably the firing order, it means that this is the driver's side head. And the only other mark in there is a WF. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah. Focusing right. Anyway, WF and uh, one three five seven eight. So I'm assuming that that's telling us that it's a driver's side head. And the WF, I'm not sure what that means. But I couldn't find anything on the front of the head, no stamping number. Like I said, it's been a long time since I worked on these Fords.